The experiments you will see have been carefully done by professionals and should not be tried at home without parental guidance. Please follow the caution signs throughout this program. Creation is science, where we learn lessons about a loving creator through fun experiments and observation. I'm excited to be here with Professor Roy. Thank you for being here. Good to be here. Thank you. I think we have something in store for you. Are you ready? Over here, we have Leah. Hi, I'm from Georgia. And we have Jafet. I'm, hi, I'm from Illinois. And Colton. I'm from... Where? Illinois. Illinois. Right? And Jasmine. Hi, I'm from Georgia. Yay, so we're excited. What do you have for us? I think yeah. it's about God's hand is over us and protecting us. Yeah. What do you have in mind for today? Yeah, we got some interesting things. Hey, it's nice to meet you kids. Thanks for coming to our school, right? This is our science school today. Now, you know, I brought something with me that I think is going to be very, very interesting. But, you know, I'm going to need a couple of things that are on the shelf. So if you go ahead and get the things that we, uh, that we mentioned earlier, let's see what we've got. We've got some practical things that you might have at home. But you can't do these experiments at home, okay? So we're just going to do them here. Thank you. We'll put that down here. What we have, we've got a beaker of water. Okay, this is good. We'll put that there. Thank you. Whoa! Come we on have, over on this side for me. We have a watch. We've got a ready. watch. Can you imagine that? We've got a watch. We got a candle. Wow! We got all kinds of stuff. We got a pill bottle. Oh man! And a salt shaker. Are we are we gonna have cooking school? <laughs> I'm ready to cook, <laughs> yeah. but no, I like experiments. Let's go no. for experiments, Dick. Well, what I want to do is I wanted to show you something that we use in a laboratory, okay? We use this substance in a laboratory because it's amazing, okay? What's so amazing about this stuff right here is that it happens naturally, and it comes from a plant, and the plant is called Lycopodia plant. It's kind of a, 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 a very a low-growing uh, uh, um, well, you might see it out in the woods if you have it, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I've got a little spoon right here, and I'm gonna take this spoon, I'm gonna put some of it on the spoon, and I wanna get a little closer to you so you can see it right here. Now, can you see that? It's powder. Now, what's interesting about this powder is that it's one of the smallest natural particles that we know of. Each tiny little particle is so teeny tiny, you really can't see one by itself, hardly. You need to see a whole group of them. Now, I'm gonna take my finger right here, and I'm just gonna press my finger into that pile. Whoa, whoop, we got, we got a couple that went. Can you see all those in, on my finger? There's literally thousands of them on my finger. Now, what's important about these is even they're that teeny tiny, they're encapsulated or coated with wax. Can you imagine that? I wonder who created those. <laughs> I can guess. You can answer me. God. That's right, God, that's right. God created those plants to have that, that wax coating on the outside. And it kind of looks like pollen, doesn't it? Yeah, when we have pollen in the air. But you know, this, this powder is called lycopodium powder. And a long time ago, people would use this. They would use it if they got sick. Have you ever been sick? Yeah, that happens sometimes. They would use this, and sometimes they would actually make tea out of it and give it to you to drink to, to calm your tummy down, right? Because sometimes we have an upset stomach. Interesting. Now, if they had a little baby at home, any of you have a little baby at home? No? You want a little baby at home? No. no but you know, if you had a little baby, you know what they did with this powder? What do you do with powder and a baby? They drink it. You powder the baby, don't you? So they use it as baby powder. How cool is that? Now, I'm going to see, let's see if, the, you think this is, it. Would, this, would this be dangerous? No. Would you put no. something dangerous on a baby? No. no. No, would you put something dangerous in your stomach? No. I don't think so, but let's find out if this is dangerous. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take some of this right here, okay, and I'm going to put some of this right in my little dish right here. Okay, we're going to use this as our little watch dish, okay. And let's see, we're gonna make a little pile of this here. All right, here we go. OK, 
Okay, and Auntie Francine, I'm going to need some okay. help over here. And we've got some matches right here, and we have a Ooh. candle. So should every, anybody have matches? Play with matches? No, please don't play with matches. We don't play with matches, so we'd be very, very careful. So what we're going to do is we're going to find out. We're going to find out if this will burn. You think it'll burn? Yes. Would you put something on a baby that would burn? No. Would you drink something that would burn? No. I hope not. So if you light a match for me and just hand, hand me the match, I'm going to see if it'll burn. So I'm going to put this right inside of that powder. Did it burn? No. 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 In fact, what happened to the match? The match went out, uh, so it must be pretty safe, right? Yes. <laughs> well, let's find out. <laughs> let's find out. Hey, you mind uh, go ahead and light our little candle for us? Okay. Can you do that? Let's see. All right, here we go. Oop. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to misuse this, right? All right, you can use things for a benefit, and it will help you, but if you misuse things, what could happen? Dangerous things could happen. Dangerous things could happen. So let's find out if this, if we're going to have a problem with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my safety glasses on because this just might be important for me. I want to protect myself. What we're going to do is I'm going to let some oxygen come around right here. Let's see what happens. I'm just going to pour some of it right over the flame. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, give me a countdown. Three, two, one. Three, Three two, two, one. Let's one. see what happens with this. Let's go. Ooh. Whoa. Did it burn? Yeah. Yeah. Now that's interesting. But it was safe if we used it according to what? How about directions? Have you ever read directions? <laughs> yeah. But that's interesting to me. Now, but it didn't burn. It didn't burn when it was in my hand like this, did it? No. You know, that reminds me. Who protects us if we're in his hand? God. God protects us for eternity, doesn't he? That doesn't mean bad things won't happen to us, because bad things can happen to us. But for eternity, we're safe in God's hands to live with him forever, aren't we? That's pretty cool. Hey, would you like to see another experiment? Yeah. yeah. I was hoping you'd say that. So what we're going to do is we're going to blow our little flame out. Let's check this out. And what I'm going to do is I have, I have, let's see. Oh, I know what I have. I have a little lighter right here. And I've got a little tube right here and it has that same powder inside of it. So what would happen if we, if I blew on the little, little tube right here and I lit the lighter at the same time, what do you think would come out? Fire. Fire? Fire. Shall we find out? Yes. Okay, all right, shall we find out? Okay, so you stay over there, okay? And I'm gonna aim it over here and let's see if we can see a little flamethrower. All right, are we ready? Okay, let's get that little flame going right here. And what you won't, don't want to do is you don't want to inhale, okay? You just want to blow out. All right, hey, give me a countdown, y'all. Here we go. Three, two, one. Woo! Whoa. What happened to that stuff? Oh, man, did that ever burn. Isn't that interesting? But, you know, not only is it good if you have a baby and you put, you know, baby powder, you know, put powder in your baby or make a nice drink if you have an upset stomach. But you know what else they could do with that? Even today, they use that substance. What is this bottle? Pill bottle. It's a pill bottle, right? It's a prescription bottle. And, you know, sometimes what they'll do is they'll take pills like this and they'll put the powder, they'll coat them with a little bit of this powder. You know what the powder does? It keeps the pills from sticking together so they just don't go into a big old globally gloop. And we don't want that to happen with pills, do we? <laughs> I don't think so. Hey, I've got one more thing right here that I wanted to show you. In fact, I want to give something away. Do you like, to, you like things? When people give it away, you like to you know, get stuff? Okay, here's what I got. We got a brand new watch right here. And I want to give it away to somebody. And oh, and it's, wow, look at it. Does it work? Looks like it's working, doesn't it? So what we're going to do is I'm going to give this watch away. If any of you can get it out of my beaker, look at my beaker. Let's check this out. Get some room over here. Here's my little beaker. But I'm going to put it in the beaker, okay? Let's see what we got right here. There we go. Let me make sure that it's in the center. There we go. All right, can you see it? Yes. All right. So who wants to try first? All right, go. You want to try? You want to try? Okay, wait, okay, but, but, but you, uh, here, you stand right here, though, okay? okay? But here's the rules, right? You know there's always rules? Yeah. That's right, rules. So you got to obey the rules right here. So here's the deal. You can have the watch. It's a brand new watch. Okay, and it's waterproof, by the way. <laughs> That's a good thing, isn't it? All you have to do is to pick it out, okay, with your hands, but I don't want your fingers to get wet. 
and I don't want you to use anything else to grab it and try to, you know, prod it out or spoon it out, okay? You got it? Okay? Okay, so think about it in a minute, okay, and give it a try. And you all will have a chance too, okay? So think about how could you do this? Oh, I got something in mind. How could you do that? Oh, don't. You have to use your fingers, and you're going to, you want to try it? You know, maybe it's the exact angle. I don't know. Maybe you could, you know, attack it somehow. Okay, who else wants to think yeah, about think it? Who, you want to try it? Yeah. Yeah, okay, here we go. He's going to try it. There you go. Just go ahead and reach in and grab it. No, no, no. No, no, you can't. we don't want to get your lab coat wet either. Hurry, quick. Is this a problem? Yeah. Do you know how to do it? No? You want to try it? No. no? No. But what happens when you put your hand or fingers in something that's wet? Your fingers or your hand gets wet, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, here, you know, I'm going to show you. All right? You, is it okay? All right. Then I'll get to keep the watch, right? Well, I don't know. Somebody will figure it out one day or another. But what we have right here is we have a salt shaker, right? But what do you think is inside of that? Is it salt? No. What do you think it is? Oh. It's a lycopodium powder, right? But there's something you don't know about the powder that I know. Do we know that the powder burns, right? Yes. Oh, yeah, we saw the flamethrower, right? But there's another very interesting thing about the powder. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to powder the water. You ever powder water? No. That sounds crazy, doesn't it? <laughs> so let's go. What I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to powder the water. So let's shake that on the water. There we go. Get that water. Does it float? Yeah. Right, the powder floats. The powder absolutely floats on the water. And so we're covering the surface of the water with a lycopodium powder, okay, just like that. There we go. All right. So, you know, you, try, you, you didn't try it yet, right? Because you are going to be our first person. So I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll, but I can't give you the watch because I just said, I, you know, we, we said what the secret yeah. was. Okay, now be very careful with your two fingers and see if you can pick it up. And then we're going to figure out if his hand got wet. Now, wait a minute. How many of you think his hand's going to get wet? His finger's going to get wet? Mm -hmm. No? But he's going to put it in the water. Okay, give it a try. Let's give him a countdown. Here we go. Three, two, two one. one. Go, go slow. That's right. Go ahead. That's right. Keep going. Keep going. Can you see? Can you see from the bottom? On the side. Okay, there you go. And grab it and pull it out. Pull Ooh. it out. Let's check this out. Okay, let it, let it go right here. Let's see. Wait, 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 wait. What happened to your fingers? Didn't get wet. Are they wet? Nope. They're all powdery. How did they get all powdery? <laughs> what protected his fingers from getting the wet? Lycopodium powder. The powder, right? The powder protected his fingers. You know, that's interesting to me. That's a neat lesson, isn't it? Well, the water represents the world. You and I are in the world, aren't we? Mm -hmm. But you know, who can protect us from the bad things of this world? God. God can. God is like the powder, isn't he? He protects us even though we've got to be in this world. I like that about that. Isn't that cool? Yeah. And that wouldn't work except for that what? That nice little what? wax coating over each one of those little tiny particles. Isn't that cool? That is just so amazing. And um, Jasmine, I think you have a text that it reminds me of something about in Psalms. Yes. 91. Psalms 91, verse 1 and 2. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will save the Lord. He is my refuge, my fortress, my God, and Him will I trust. Awesome. Don't you want to put your trust in God I do. for your protection, no matter what circumstances it is? Mm -hmm. I sure do. I'm so thankful that, you know, even when something is very important, I notice that sometimes I have to say, Jesus, please help me. I am so excited that we can see God's creation all around us because creation is science. science.